Good day all, and welcome to another edition of Local Legislator Live at 11. I am your host, Charles Gates, where our mission is to be the premier source of local election information in the United States and an advocate for the sustainability of local businesses nationwide. We do have a treat for you this morning. We've got the one and only Mr. Robert R.K. Kowalowicz, candidate for mayor in the wonderful city on the beach, otherwise known as Virginia Beach. Good morning, sir. How are you? Yes, it is. And it is Richard R.K. Kowalowicz. Oh, what did I say, Robert? You said Robert, but I understand Robert and Richard, they're a lot alike. You know that, right? Robert, and, Richard, you know, they're see? all good. And, and that's why I said that. I wanted to see how sharp you were. So you said you were sharp. You said you were going to test me, but right out of the gate. That's pretty good. Oh, wow. Okay. And viewers, you are Richard or am I Robert? I'm confused here yet. <laughs> Hey guys, you, we do have a treat for you. Mr. RK is going to share his platform for us today. And we're gonna start right off with this raw interview by telling us something about you, what is your education and occupation and why are you running for mayor? Well, thank you for having me, first of all. And um, you know, my name is Richard RK Kowalowicz. I've been in business at the oceanfront for almost 40 years. I owned and operated RK Surf Shop for 33 years at the oceanfront. I currently do construction, I do building, I'm OSHA certified. My wife just retired after 38 years of being a school teacher, a high school school teacher. So I have quite an array of, of diversity in my background. I, um, you know, I really care about Virginia Beach and we're going on the wrong road. You know, and I've run multiple times because I care. I want change and right now our leadership is extremely weak at Virginia Beach and I was not gonna sit on the sidelines and let it happen. So here I am because I've been involved in local politics for almost 20 years. I have a great understanding of what needs to be done. People could talk all day long. We had a lot of talkers. I'm a doer, I'm a fixer, I wanna fix it. And I, I think I have a better way. Okay, now on the upcoming ballot, well, the ballot that's, that's currently on us right now, what is your full name on that ballot? And spell your last Richard, name for us. Richard W, and it'll be RK in the middle, and Kowalowicz, that's K-O-W-A-L-E-W-I-T-C-H. Did I get that right? Something. I, I hope so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we understand, Mr. R.K., that uh, mayoral candidates do not have to disclose a political party affiliation. Now, do you associate with any party? Well, I'm not associated with a party, and, I, and I, that's a really good question. I'm a conservative. I, I believe in the Constitution, fiscal responsibility. I believe in a level playing field. And, you know, I mean, people have to look at logically. Local elections are nonpartisan for a reason. There are no D's and R's in front of firefighters or teachers or streets. We should never ever allow our politics locally to become partisan. And they're trying to do that right now. And it's a big problem. Mm. Now, how long have you lived in Virginia Beach and have you held any public offices prior to the one you're seeking? I've never held public office before, but I have seek, seek mayor race in the past. I've run two other times for mayor. And um, I've been in business in Virginia Beach for about 38 years. Hmm, okay. Now, to our viewers out there, if you like this interview and like to see more, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, connect with us on Twitter and Instagram. And remember us to tell us who or what you would like to hear from next. We do our best to get that person or that organization on the air as soon as we can. Now, Mr. Kowalowicz, what has been your community involvement and how has that helped you to prepare for this moment? Well, I've uh, been involved with a lot of issues at the beach. So I'll give you just a couple of them. You know, one issue was they were closing the streets down at the oceanfront. My business was at the oceanfront. And I thought it was so unconstitutionally correct. I challenged the city and I won. I also took up the lead with John Atkinson, our prior treasurer, on the no light rail. We, took, we, we, we were against light rail. Not against light rail itself, but just light rail for Virginia Beach. So we went out and gathered the troops and we won. We got it on the ballot and the people loudly and clearly said, we don't want light rail in Virginia Beach. We flat out can't afford it. There's nothing bad about light rail. And I'm just an example, because I have to explain on that a little bit. Norfolk system was one of the worst light rail systems in the country. It just, it just 
you know, Virginia Beach is 500 square miles. Norfolk's 95 square miles. Logistically and economically, the city just couldn't afford it. And there's no way we could do it. That's why we stepped up and said, hey, we're not going to do that. And these are, uh, there are a lot of issues that, I, that I've taken on in the past, and especially with small business. And I've been there multiple times to speak for the police officers when they went looking for their raises and things. So these are things that I've always been forward thinking on. Okay. Now, if elected, what are your four top goals? Well, in priority right now, we are, the city of Virginia Beach is around 80 police officers short. According to our councilman, John Moss, we're about 120 short. We're budgeted 800 police officers. We have about 680 right now, according to John Moss. And we did fill a, a vacancy just recently, so it might have upped it a little bit. But this is important for a reason. The most cities in the country, the average about, the average is 3.1 per thousand police officers. We're at 1.8. We have some serious law and, order, or, law and order problems at the oceanfront right now. And they're taking officers from other districts. And, and they're being taxed. In other words, they're tired. And we need to fix that. Law and order is very important right now. We need to maintain, we need to get the police officers to, to the right pay they need to be. They should be fully staffed and fully funded. We have a great, our police departments are highly trained. So when we train our police officers, there are a lot of other cities that want to come grab them and pay them more money. And then you have natural attrition as well. So we've got to find a way to fix that so those officers don't want to leave here. And that's, that's priority number one right now. Number two priority is stormwater. And I've been talking about these two issues we're talking about for over 15 years on the campaign trail. We have a serious stormwater. We have 15, a 15-year 15 backlog on stormwater maintenance. 15 years. Now, mind you, the city of Virginia Beach collects over $40 million a year in stormwater fees, and only 14 of it goes to maintenance. Now, think about that. Majority of the money is going someplace else. That is just not right. They're taxing us, and it shouldn't be happening. And, and when I'm saying it shouldn't be happening, if you're going to tax us for stormwater, you better be using it for the maintenance. We have a vast stormwater system in Virginia Beach, hundreds and hundreds of miles of trenches and canals and, and ponds and things. We need to maintain that because if a storm comes, we're literally one storm away from a disaster. This issue needs to be fixed immediately. We have the money and we don't need to raise taxes to do it. The other thing that that's, the city's got to get away from is picking winners and losers the socialist mindset they have. They wanna pick their buddies, the good old boy network. The good old boy network is live and well in Virginia Beach and it's some of our problems. These guys get their peace first before we get ours. The city's citizens are getting ours. And I'll give you a perfect example. COVID just came through here, which is devastating to all businesses, black, white, green, purple, whoever you are, it affects everybody. So what happens in May? Our current mayor and council, they approved $240 million to increase to increase our debt, another $240 million. None of that was for stormwater. None of that was for COVID. That was for a couple pet projects that got going off the oceanfront for their buddies. I want you to think about something. The city of Virginia Beach 20 years ago, we, we didn't have much debt. Today, we're $2.4 billion in debt. 1.2 billion of that debt goes to what they call unlimited, un, uh, unmanned funding for citizens, the, the, the uh, firefighters, teachers, and police officers' uh, pension funds. 1.2 million of that, of that is for that alone. 20 years ago, we were $25 million to the good. Today, we're $1.2 billion in debt. Where's the money going? To service the other debt is $177 million a year. And now just to put in perspective, tourism generates around $80 million a year for the city. It's about 3.4% of the budget. Our debt load is 177 million to service our debt. Those numbers don't add up. They just don't work. We cannot tax people out of our city. Zillow says we're the number one underwater mortgages in the country, 16.9%. Four years running. There's less people living here than a year before. 20 years of no growth in this city. The oceanfront is dying on the vine. You need, this a leadership problem. My, the, one of the, the mayor, current mayor has been in office for 16 years. What has he done? Nobody can answer that question. What's he done? What does he try to champion? Nobody can answer that question. Those are the reasons I'm running. Okay. 
And last question for you, sir. How can we find out more information about you and your campaign? Well, you can go to, I've got two Facebook accounts. One is, um, I gotta read them, is, uh, is www.facebook.com slash RK for mayor. And the other one is facebook.com slash Richard that point Kowalowicz, K-O-W-A-L-E-W-I-T-C-H. You can contact us, or you can see us there, follow us there. We are, um, we're on there quite a bit. And, you know, contact point is there for us as well. Okay, and I would imagine you have some of those pretty signs in back of you as well. We do have those pretty signs behind us. They're all over the city, and we have plenty more that are going out. I'm also, there's something that's real important, too. i got to mention this. And, you know, at the oceanfront, we're about, there's no more land left. We have one piece of land left called Rudy Loop, and, and it's where the surfers hang out. And this surfing is a big thing in Virginia Beach. We have one of the longest running surfing events in the country. And they, they want to develop that piece of property. If they develop that piece of property, we basically have a concrete wall all across our resort. And I don't, I'm, not, I'm not happy about that. And it, it doesn't need to happen. We own that property. It doesn't cost us nothing to keep an open space. We're not filling the rooms we got right now. It's not necessary. It's an important thing. You also can visit me at, say, Rudy Loop. I'll post on there constantly as well. Okay. And, Mr. Kowalowicz, is there anything else you'd like to leave our viewers and potential constituents before we leave? Yeah, well, I want to make a promise to people, and I think it's important. Promise is important from politicians because people, usually they're not following through. I want to promise that I'll work for you, not special interest. I'll promise to you that I'll lead from the front, not the rear. This is not about me, this is about us. This is about a better Virginia Beach, a safer Virginia Beach, a fiscal responsible Virginia Beach, and lowering our taxes. That's what it's about for me. And if you're kind enough to put me in office, you will not be disappointed because you'll see me instantly start working on the issues we're talking about. Please vote RK. Well, thank you very much, sir. And to our viewers out there, we hope you are educated from these candidates. This is what we call our raw Hampton, Ro Hampton Rose raw interview series. We also do this for the candidates in the Richmond, Virginia area, Richmond, Virginia metro area, that is. Again, check out our YouTube channel for all the interviews, including this one shortly. Check out all of our social media sites. Uh, like us on Facebook, Twitter, and if there are so many of these social media platforms, it's hard to keep track of them all. Twitter, there Instagram, is. we're on all of the socials. Make sure you check us out and make sure you leave us a comment. Let us know what you would like to hear from next. If we're not asking a candidate a certain question, make sure you get it to us so we can ask that question on your behalf to make you a better informed electorate. Mr. Kowalowicz, it's been a pleasure. Take care of yourself, sir, and best of luck to you in your campaign. Thanks for having us. You're welcome, sir. And to our viewers out there, remember, we're not global. We're local. Local Legislator live at 11, and we are a component of locallegislator.net. Until next time, take care of yourself.